Hey guys, Mr. Ray here, and I'm going to talk you through the three types of economic systems you need to know for AS economics as well as an A2. Now, before we had three basic economic questions what will it be produced, how will it be produ produced, and who will it be produced for? Now, these systems aim to answer that question. In the planned economy, the government will answer all three questions. The free market doesn't allocate resources, the government does. They dictate what is going to be produced, how it's going to be produced, and for whom it's going to be produced. So the government will control prices and output and dictate where resources should be allocated. Right? That's the planned economy. I'm going to jump down to the market economy and then come back to NICS. The market economy is like the other end of the spectrum. Right? You remove government from the equation. The way resources are allocated in the market economy is through the market mechanism, right? the market forces of supply and demand, how buyers and sellers interact. They dictate what is going to be produced, how much of it is going to be produced, and pretty much who it's going to be produced for. There's no government involvement there. Now, most economies will fall somewhere in the middle, which is why we have the mixed economy. Now, there's not three perfect categories. You don't have North Korea, Hong Kong, and then everybody else perfectly here in the middle. Right. I think Hong Kong is the best example given for a market economy uh, due to the limited size of its government, which you know could change in the future. Now, the mixed economy, you're talking about places like the US, UK, Canada, Australia, and, and pretty much everybody else. Right. They're going to have elements of both. Right. The government controls some things, and we're going to see why when we talk about types of goods in the next video. And then you have the free market, which is allowed to dictate the allocation of resources for other things. Why the government intervenes, we're going to see later on in this course. But the main thing you need to understand now is that this range is from complete government involvement down to no government involvement. And the reality is most countries exist somewhere in the middle. 